Happy Independence Day. I'm David Allen. And I'm Erin Elabo. Some areas saw a little bit of rain this afternoon. And check out these ominous clouds that rolled through the ocean front. They didn't bring any rainfall. And as you can see now, barely any clouds in the sky. Well, just a few. Evan, will this uh, back and forth weather pattern continue into tonight? Well, we'll see more back than forth, I guess you could say, as those chances for showers will continue to go down and we'll look for those easterly winds continuing. As we take a look at the radar right now, we are tracking just a couple of very isolated showers showing up on the radar. As we've gone through the past several hours, those easterly winds have produced a couple of showers in the area that would come up pretty quickly and then die out pretty quickly as well, and they're pretty small as well. And now on the live view, just a couple of isolated showers through Chowan County, Perquimans County, Pasquotank County, drifting off towards the west. A couple more here through Suffolk, one down here by 13, another around downtown, another around Shuckatuck. So again, just just a couple of isolated showers should not cause any problems for the fireworks later this evening. The big story though, that heat once again out there, temperatures in the 80s, 90 degrees in Williamsburg. When you factor in that humidity though, it feels more like the upper 90s to near 100 degrees. It feels over 100 down in Currituck right now with a heat index of 103. Through the rest of the evening, just that slight chance of an isolated shower in a couple of spots, but by 930 for the big fireworks display in downtown Norfolk and all of them this evening, we're looking at muggy and warm conditions, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the lower 80s. Those temperatures will continue to drop throughout the evening by 11 o'clock, 77 degrees, 76 by 1 a.m. But a muggy, muggy night. Temperatures warm up the next few days and then a big drop in temperatures this weekend. Details on that in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Evan. Well, here's a live look at the bustling ocean front. A little further south in Sandbridge, though, the red flags are flying. The city tweeted a warning about rough surf and high winds. Now, already this year, several swimmers have died along the coast of Virginia and North Carolina after getting caught in rip currents. Violent holiday in Hampton Roads. Three shot in three cities. First, bullets fly in the heart of the resort area. Yeah, police say it started as a fight outside a hotel. Then someone pulled out a gun. Now, it started at the Best Western Plus. That's on Atlantic Avenue and 13th Street. 13 News Now reporter Ali Weatherton joins us now with new information. On a day we celebrate our freedom. The birthday of our nation. A fight outside an oceanfront hotel turned into a shooting. Guns are not the answer. Virginia Beach police say around 2 o'clock this morning, dispatchers responded to a disturbance on Atlantic Avenue. Masor Abilla says he was sleeping in his hotel room. I didn't hear anything. Police say one person was shot and went to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A second person was grazed by a bullet but refused treatment. Absolutely crazy. Police say they took three people into custody. Usually pretty quiet. It's pretty calm. You don't really hear a lot about shootings. I talked to the manager at the Best Western Plus Sandcastle Beachfront Hotel. He tells me the person shot was a guest at the hotel. The manager says the man was shot in the leg. This morning, he checked out of his hotel. Now, if you know anything about this incident, you are encouraged to contact the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. In Virginia Beach, Ali Weatherton, 13 News Now. A woman murdered in Hampton in broad daylight. Right now, police are on the hunt for her killer. It happened just before noon on East Pembroke Avenue near Cypress Street. How the suspect and motive both a mystery tonight. A 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens spoke with people who heard the gunshots. I just kind of stood there frozen. Neighbors on edge in a community in shock. We've never had no crime right here. Tonight, the search grows for the person who murdered a woman in Hampton. Anywhere from four to six, five, six shot. It happened before noon on East Pembroke Avenue. Marquita Latta was at the Oakland Cemetery yes. when she heard what she initially thought were fireworks. It sounded like pop, 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 pop. She then realized what she just heard. There was a screaming and yelling. Others who live in the area describe hearing the same thing. Pop, pop, pop. It's like that. Then I hear mother. Ah! Police found the woman at the bottom of the steps at this home at the corner of Pembroke Avenue and Cypress Street. A woman inside the home says that, that woman came banging on her door asking for help. Police showed up a few minutes later. I stood there for my own safety for a few minutes to try to figure out what was the best option. An emotional scene as family showed up near the home. Neighbors say they live behind the home where police found the woman. Frances Allen didn't want to go on camera, but says seeing the woman bleeding on the ground 
is an image she'll never forget. I'm 88 years old and I've never seen a crime scene in my life. Tonight, there are many unanswered questions. Latta says right now, she's in disbelief. It was very unnerving. Right now, we have no information on a suspect or motive. So police are asking for your help. If you saw anything or if you heard anything, please give police a call. You can remain anonymous. In Hampton, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. A woman running 4th of July errands in Norfolk when bullets strike her car. It happened on Princess Anne Road near Hemlock Street this afternoon. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Gray spoke with the woman's dad about the terrifying incident. Yeah, moments after we got here, we saw family members of this woman carrying groceries out of the truck. I'm told it was supposed to be a day to celebrate the 4th of July that took a scary turn. And that horror quickly passed over to George, the 39 year old victim's father. Upset, mad, angry. He says it all started with a regular phone call. And she said she was at Dollar Tree and she wanted to pick up something for the kids and she wanted to Walmart pick up some stuff for the kids. A start to the 4th of July celebrations. Then came another call. This time it wasn't as regular. She called me back, said that a bullet just hit her car and I got here as quick as I could get here. The father told 13 News Now his daughter was driving on East Princess Anne Road in Norfolk when the front windshield of her SUV was hit. It happened around 11 in the morning. The mother of four ended up parked diagonally in this Hardy's lot at Hemlock Street to call police and her father. She was sound upset, real upset. She didn't know if she got hit with the bullet or nothing. She, well, she got a knot on her head, but she said the glass had hit her. The father says he got here just in time to talk to his daughter in the ambulance before heading to the hospital. Things happen. I'm just glad that she, lucky that she's alive. And if you saw or heard anything, you're asked to call police. Once again, family say this was completely random. That woman is expected to be okay. But if you know anything, call the crime line 188 lock you up. Reporting in Norfolk, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.